Hi, my name is Catherine. I'm the owner and the creator from My Mimi's Creativity. Back in March, I created my original design of the bling wine glass. This is not only my top sold craft from my crafting room, but it's also the most questioned by other crafters on how to make one. As I promised, I would do a tutorial for you. Please be nice as this is my very first YouTube video post. Please help me out and subscribe, like, and share my new channel page, My Mimi's Creativity. And give me a thumbs up if you find this video to be informative. I will answer all your questions you have and I will have all the materials listed below as well as my same codes. I would be very appreciative and I'm very excited as we start this new journey together. Let's get started. Cheers. First, prepare the wine glass by cleaning it with 91% alcohol. I have prepared my font on removable vinyl. Apply transfer paper to your vinyl. Apply your vinyl to the wine glass. Do not stress about your wrinkles. I will be showing you how to work around that. Once the vinyl has been applied to the glass, you will use your X-Acto knife to flatten your image by making small slices and laying the vinyl down flat. For any small pieces that will not stay down during the etching process, I usually replace them with a, using a toothpick with a super glue. This will act as the vinyl and protect the glass from the etching cream. You can dry it with a heat gun. Now I'm going to be re reinforcing my vinyl. For the slices I made to make flat with the blue painter's tape, I do make smaller cuts with my X-Acto for tighter areas. It's important to do this so you don't have any bleeding during your etching process. Use larger pieces of tape to cover the outer edge of your font to protect the glass from the etching cream. Now we're going to be etching. Apply your etching cream by using a sil silicone spatula or brush. Be generous, it needs to be covered sufficiently. Leave the cream on for one minute. Remove the etch cream with a silicone spatula and you can reuse it by placing it back in your container. Wash the glass with warm water and Dawn dish soap. Then remove all the blue tape and vinyl, followed up by cleaning the glass again. Now using electrical tape, I'm forming the window in the front of the wine glass. Use a blue tape roll to make sure that it's even by laying the roll across the top of the glass. Tuck your folded tape inside.
Using memory foam for my wine glass holder, I roll a piece of blue tape in place it between the glass and the memory foam, and this helps to secure the glass from the glass rotating. I made a custom mix of glitter from Glitter Heart Company. I'm mixing diamonds, chili pepper, and Barbie Girl. I've named this color Love You More. Save 15% at GlitterHeart.com by using savings code MIMI15. For this next step, I usually use the epoxy method, but for this purpose, for this YouTube video, I'm utilizing Mod Podge Matte. Use a make makeup brush to apply a nice even coat of Mod Podge to the whole wine glass except for the window that you just etched. Glitter evenly. I wait 35 to 45 minutes before applying my second coat of Mod Podge in glitter. Look at this beautiful glitter. Glitter evenly. I cleaned the glass with a fan brush for the additional glitter. Now carefully remove the electrical tape to give your clean cut line, followed by cleaning the glass up with a baby wipe. I wait one to two hours and then I seal the glitter with another generous coat of Mod Podge. Remember, any excess glue is no, is no dripping. Clean the wine glass window with a baby wipe. Place the wine glass on a turner and let it spin for several hours or overnight until completely dry. This is a very important step. Do not take a shortcut on this after you're done cleaning up your glass. Now applying epoxy to the glittered areas, I mixed 20 ml of epoxy.
clean the glass with a baby wipe and 91% alcohol. Torch to remove any micro bubbles. Look at this gorgeous sparkle and shine. I'm now going to demonstrate how to use a Wamu epoxy dryer. Preheat your dryer for 10 minutes. Place your glass in the dryer. Close the front door about one inch from the door is where you're going to place your wine glasses. Set your dryer at 80 degrees Celsius for 90 minutes on the timer. Save 3% at wanu.com with savings code MIMI. The wine I'm drinking was provided by Sharon Donahue Traveling Vineyards. Absolutely delicious wine. Her link is below. Carefully clean the glass rim with an exacto knife, cutting away the epoxy from the rim of the glass till clean. Please be careful. Use a fine fingernail, 400-600 grit, to smooth the rim carefully. Wet sand with 120 grit sandpaper carefully. Follow up with another round of sanding with grit 220 sandpaper as well till smooth.
Once completed, wash with Dawn soap and dry. I prepared my font and now I'm applying it to transfer tape. Make slices in the transfer tape to make the font easier to lay down on the cur a curved surface. Always apply the font from the middle and go out to the ends as shown. An, in, an easy way of making sure that your font will go on smoothly, you can separately move the transfer backing from the other section. Make sure your font is completely placed down onto the wine glass. Now adding hearts to the base. refueling lol <laughs> adding a layer of quick coat by using a finger cut Clean the glass with 91% alcohol if you get any on the glass. Use a heat gun to start the drying process. Wait 20 minutes to add the next coat and repeat the process. 
I absolutely love my cordless heat gun. It's so convenient. Next, applying the second coat of epoxy after this. Applying second coat of epoxy. I mixed 20 ml of epoxy. Clean the glass with a baby wipe and 91% alcohol. Torch to remove any micro bubbles. After the epoxy has cured, After the epoxy is cured, carefully clean the glass rim with an X-Acto knife, cutting the epoxy away from the rim of the glass till clean. Use a fingernail file, 400-600 grit to smooth the rim carefully. Use acetone and alcohol to clean the glass up, removing any debris from the epoxy.
Now it's time to add some diamond bling. Use liquid fusion glue. Apply a small generous amount of glue along the glass rim of the glitter line for your rhinestones to be applied. Smooth the glue out so it's even using the other end of your rhinestone picker upper. Using a rhinestone picker upper, you can apply the rhinestones with ease. Place a few rhinestones starting from the top rim going down, laying on its side. Placement should be on the glass right up against the rim of the glitter. There should be no spaces between your rhinestones. Once in placement, use a baby wipe with alcohol to wipe away any excess glue on the glass. Dry with your heat gun. This speeds up the drying process of the glue. Continue this process until it's completely reached the other top side top of the rim. The rhinestones should touch perfectly with no spaces from rim to rim. I bet you didn't think this was this many steps, did ya? But look how beautiful it's turning out. Continue this process until completely done. Use a baby wipe to wipe away any excess glue on the glass.
We're almost there. Use a baby wipe with alcohol to wipe away any excess glue on the glass. Use a heat gun to dry the rhinestones overall. Allow to dry and set for two to three hours. Once dry, then you will hand wash with Dawn soap and dry. And now you have completed your beautiful bling wine glass. Congratulations. take this opportunity to say thank you for watching my first YouTube video. Please again give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will answer any questions that you have. I can't wait to see what you create. Hashtag my Mimi's creativity on all your posts. I would love to see all of your creations and thank you once again and have an amazing crafting and blessed day. Cheers.